Mosquito control crews will work overnight tonight and during the weekend as West Nile virus continues to reappear in North Texas. Jason Allen is in one of the neighborhoods in Tarrant County where West Nile positive mosquitoes are turning up at the highest rate scientists here have seen in four or five years. One of those positive mosquitoes was found in a trap down at the end of this street here in the North Fort Worth Keller area. And so, as this sign here entering the neighborhood lets everyone know, the county is going to be spraying tonight once the sun is down to try to at least knock down the number of mosquitoes that they're finding in this area. The public health department has been trying to make people more aware of this trend the last couple of weeks. The West Nile activity at this level isn't something that they have seen since at least 2016. It started to turn up in June. Last week, there were more than 50 positive mosquitoes found in traps around the county. There has also been one death here connected to West Nile virus. However, that is the only human case that has turned up, which is something surveillance teams are keeping an eye on. So, it should be more human cases we have to see, we would have to expect, but just one case. By August come, we would not know what's going to come. So, we can't really predict the weather. Right? The weather, of course, is key to the way the virus spreads, and not just where you will find standing water, say in a bar ditch or people's yards, but also what temperature and humidity are doing. And although cases are up, Dr. Lee said today he doesn't want to give people one more virus to have to worry about. So they're trying to focus on prevention efforts and just making sure people are aware that West Nile is back. In Tarrant County, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.